guys what's up it's Shanice welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the title of this video I did cut my hair I actually went to a salon to cut it but before we get into all of that if you guys are not already subscribed hit the subscribe button down below turn on your post notification sounds by clicking the little bell somewhere over here and you will know every time I upload a video if you do follow me on snapchat or Instagram you guys would know that I did cut my hair I did snapchat a little bit of it but I didn't really go into depth so I'm gonna talk to you guys all about it right now I did go to a salon to cut my hair um, the salon is located in downtown Toronto um, it's called curl bar so if you, any of you guys are interested I will have the full details down below on where you can go get your services from so honestly I went in there with the intentions to cut and color my hair like I really want to color my hair again want to cut it give it a nice shape and everything but when I got to the salon I looked at the colors and I was just really unsure of what color I want to do so guys I'm debating between this one this one and then I think one of these over here you can't really see it but it was between a brown or a like a burgundy was it like a burgundy brown color so the hairstylist was like if you cannot decide if you're very undecisive don't color your hair because you might regret it so at that point I'm like damn I was like flipping through the book this color this color this color I don't know so I was just like all right I'm not gonna do it just try to cut off as much color as you can because you guys didn't know that I did have like the blonde ends and it was getting kind of old the color was fading it just it was pointless at that point and obviously a lot of you guys can see the damage in my hair of what the color did and that's honestly because if you do not take care of your hair while it's color treated like you're gonna have damage and I wasn't taking care of my hair how I should so yeah I told her to just snip away so the lady who did my hair her name is Keisha she's amazing she knows what she's doing so pretty much I went in there she asked me what I wanted um, I was just really like, I showed her a picture of Mono's hair, I'm like, I kind of want my hair to look like this, I just want it to be more layered or like, this more voluminous, that's what I said, more voluminous. So she's like, alright, like, I could do that. Honestly, I went in there with my hair knotty, I don't recommend to do that, my hair was actually really, um, tangled so she had to get another assistant in there to help her like detangle my hair and everything and as she was doing that she was cutting it because obviously if she cut my hair while it was very knotty um it just wouldn't work out like that because she would cut off more than you know what's needed to be cut so she went through there detangled it a little bit um and then trimmed off my hair to create a shape that i wanted but yeah pretty much she got her scissors ready and just started shaping out my hair, cutting off as much as the color as possible. <gasps> Guys, look at my hair. It's so much volume. <laughs> I love the volume. <laughs> I don't really see any color in it anymore. I don't know. You guys can be the judge of that, but. And after that, she washed my hair. So we used all Diva Curl products. And literally, I fell in love with Diva Curl products. Before I left that salon, I bought like literally everything she used in my hair. So yeah, she shampooed my hair with the No Poo by Diva Curl. And that felt really good on my hair. She detangled it very gently with a wet brush. then went in with the conditioner by Diva Curl not really sure what it's called can't remember um, she used quite a bit of that and then she made sure that before she styled my hair she left in a lot of the conditioner and she's like it's super important for you to style your hair on very soaking wet hair so do your hair while you're in the shower as well as leave it a little bit of conditioner which I always do anyway because it just feels better and it just seems right <music> that we 
did not do a treatment because I didn't have it in the books to do a treatment. Um, I really needed one though, but I wish she did, but we didn't. So then she went into styling my hair and literally she took, um, she said, because I have a lot of hair, um, I'm going to have to pretty much section my hair into, I think it was like about six to eight sections on each side. So she went in on each small section and applied Diva Curl Leave-In. Then she went in with the Super Cream and then she layered that with the Archangel um, Gel by Diva Curl as well. And those three together my, made my hair super, super soft and just so lightweight and you only need a little bit which I was like oh my god like I need to buy these products now ASAP Rocky applied all those products she made me flip my head over just like fling it to one side fling it to the other side fling it to the back side and then also scrunch it um that would just create more curls in my hair more definition and it just made my curls kind of like clump together yeah then i sat under the dryer for about 45 minutes and because my hair wasn't fully dry after that she took a diffuser which i do not like diffusers but it worked so she took the diffuser and just like plopped my head over and started diffusing side to side side to side yada 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 <laughs> amazing results the one thing I could say is that like when she first cut my hair I thought the cut was kind of blunt but after my first wash it looked a lot better and it just formed better you know what I mean like it just wasn't so blunt like you can't really see where the cut was it sort of just melted marinated together so yeah I honestly I really love my cut I hope you guys like it too I think she cut off maybe two to four inches but literally I cut off most of the the blonde ends so yeah I actually want to straighten my hair to see how long it is now I had my hair cut now it's been a month so yeah I think it's doing pretty well let's see let's do a length check real quick so this is my hair let's pull it down yeah I can see that it is shorter because usually it goes past like my nipple and this is not past my nipples so yeah so it is shorter but I do feel like it has grown since I cut it so yeah I'm really really loving my hair right now it's so full of body it's more moisturized it's easier for me to perfect my wash and goals especially now that I bought the Diva Curl products like that's all I've literally been using it's amazing at defining my curls they are super pricey I literally spent almost $300 on those products when I was there but totally worth it like look at these curls like the ringlets at the ends too Woo. I haven't had like wash and goals look like this in so long so I am super happy that I did cut off the color even though I'm gonna miss the color it is what it is I'm really loving my hair right now and yeah I'm excited to keep styling it and playing with it and everything so yeah if you guys are interested in getting your hair cut colored by a natural hairstylist or stylist definitely check out curl bar here in toronto they are good at what they do good services good hairstylists everything i really like that place i am definitely gonna go back when i want another cut so yeah see my girl keisha and she'll hook you up so if you guys are interested the links 
and all the information will be down below and let me know what you guys think about my cut do you guys like it do you guys liking me better with the color let me know down in the comment section we love your feedback also don't forget to smash up that like button and i'll see you guys all in the next video I also want to let you guys know that I will be at the Talia Wajid World Natural Hair and Beauty Show on April 22nd and April 23rd. Come check me out. I will be at the As I Am Naturally booth. Gonna have some meetups, live demos, curl talk, all that good stuff. So I can't wait to meet you and I'll see you guys there.